Last weekend, both White Saturday and White Sunday crews had drama-filled assists. Saturday's crew rescued a broken-down jet ski that was anchored perilously close to the pincushion surf break. They feared getting sucked onto the bar at Marucha River. With much bigger swells than usual at 2.5 to 3.5 meters. Fighting close-up breaking surf, our rescue team succeeded in extracting this vessel using our rescue vessel, Rotary 3 with Kim Rogerson as master, Anthony at the helm and crew. Barry, Cameron and Glynn. Sunday dawned with just a handful of boats signed onto our Coast Guard's log. This is where any boat venturing out on the water or transiting our waters can log in via an app, or by phone, or by radio to give us brief details of their trip and expected time of return, or alternatively, handle a transfer to the next marine rescue station along their intended transit. With a quiet day in prospect, our White Sunday crew had expectations of conducting day-long training, with the highlight being to check out the new ramp and pontoon at Mackenzie's Bridge. This new construction is due to be opened in the next few days. And boaters might want to check this beautifully refurbished facility, which should help ease the sometimes crowded public boat ramps dotted around the area. Instead, an EPIRB activation had us racing out on board our blue water rescue vessel, Malulaba Rescue. Followed, shortly after, by police vessel Norm Watt. Their 25 to 27 knots, soon outpaced our speed of 22 knots. Soon after, a rescue helicopter was also activated to begin a search and rescue operation. Often an EPIRB is accidentally triggered, but on this occasion we were faced with the real thing. 22 nautical miles east-southeast of Point Cartwright, we located the target vessel, a 5.5-meter Whitley. We took this vessel in tow at 5 to 6 knots. Halfway back to Malulaba, she started taking on water in the choppy conditions, force 5 gusting 6, and signaled they were sinking. We then came alongside ready to evacuate the two people on board. However it was decided to try to pump her out with our mobile Honda pump, and this was sufficient to allow us to resume the tow. From then on in, the rescue was routine and uneventful. However, we do hope that boatgoers learn from this seven-hour exercise and expenditure of costly rescue resources. The vessel had drifted into 60-plus meters of water and had not anchored earlier when conditions may have allowed. They did not use the rescue service's free log-on facility to inform anyone of their whereabouts and likely time of return. At 22 miles out to see their mobile reception, and handheld VHF radio were out of range, and therefore, utterly useless. This left them with just the EPIRB on which their lives depended. It is not uncommon that boat owners are lax or unaware of the importance of maintaining their EPIRB registration. In this case it also led to difficulties in identifying exactly which party we were out there rescuing. If you do not log on with us and don't bother to provide us with some details of your trip and estimated return time, then on the rare occasions that an incident occurs, no one may know of your plight. Even when a search is initiated, it may be too late, as we are trying to find the proverbial needle in a haystack on the wide open ocean with little clue as to where to start. For Coast Guard Malulaba the number to call is 075-444-3846 or alternatively call us on our VHF working channel 73. The first time you log on may take a minute as we log the details of your boat spec, mobile number etc. But after that one time log on, future logons will take just seconds. After more than seven hours motoring in trying circumstances, on reaching the safety of the river, it was a relief for some of our crews to finally dispense with their life jackets and relax a little knowing that another successful deepwater rescue in conditions of force 5 gusting 6 and for half the journey enduring following and increasing seas on our starboard quarter had been achieved. In this case the rescue ended well. 
Our crew led by Malulaba Rescue's master, Ben Humphreys, and with Kathy and Richard taking turns on the helm, appreciated the rescued person's heartfelt thanks and gratitude. We hauled in the tow and rafted the target vessel to our starboard side opposite our Coast Guard HQ. Shortly after, and once the formalities of paperwork was concluded, we rafted the vessel back to her usual berth near Kiwana waters. <laughs>